Coach Tom Riddell was just saying it feels like the average fan may not realize how much of a boon this is for you guys having. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's a huge, I think it's a huge opportunity for us to just, I mean, just to let people come out and just see, you know, how we interact with our players and the way practice is organized and, um, you know, just all that stuff. And, and I think that helps. And, you know, just getting around, you know, the coaches and seeing again how the players and coaches interact and interact with each other. And, because you can tell a lot about a program. You know, that so I think it's it's good for those guys to be able to come out and see it first. Is, we're, is where we're standing right now the ultimate example of what, what high school football in Texas is? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like I said, this is kind of medium spectrum. It's a great facility, but some of them are quite a bit nicer. And so it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic facility. It just shows how important it is. Um, you know, and I think that's why, you know, it's pretty special growing up in this state. Uh, and, and because football is important. And I think that, you know, luckily, um, you know, people see what, uh, you know, what high school football and high school athletics in general and the extracurricular activities, whether it's band or drill team or whatever, what, it, what those do for young people in their development. I think that Texas has always understood that and appreciates it. And I think that's uh, why so many of the kids in the, in the Texas schools are active, whether it's in the band or whether it's playing sports and I think it just helps you know completely develop people I think it makes a big difference and makes them part of teams and, and teaches them how to interact and, and all those things that I think are really important. How nice is it having a guy like Tom Riddell I know you have deep roots here but a guy like Tom Riddell has really deep roots here. Yeah 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 we've all you know recruited and spent a lot Jones of time here yeah yeah Brandon Jones you know grew up in the Metroplex and ended up finishing school in Oregon but obviously went to Texas Tech and recruiting down here for a long time I recruited you know DFW for you know 15 years off and on you know and, and so um, obviously know a lot of people have a lot of contacts and it's good to be back and uh, what how did you feel about practice today I thought it was okay it's was, it was windy yeah. you know I think that that we don't see a lot of wind in the Bay Area um, probably wasn't as sharp as, as I wanted it to be part of that was just balls are flying around a little bit getting blown around in the wind the one thing I've been impressed with with our players is our focus has been really good you know I haven't um, heard guys talking about much else besides you know practicing and playing the game and, um, and that's good and that shows some maturity and especially for a team that hasn't you know been through this experience not many guys have been through the bowl experience and so it's good to you know for them to come out and handle it the right way um, you know, and, and have some maturity about them and realize why they're here. And, you know, that's because we have an opportunity to win, you know, the eight, an eighth ball game. Is the, is the win something that you want to make sure the guys are ready for? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's something that, that looks to me like on Tuesday we're not going to have much. But, yeah, I mean, you got to be prepared for everything. And so, something, again, in the Bay Area we're not that accustomed to. We just don't get much wind. Um, you know, the good thing is when you play in a stadium that it blocks the wind a little bit more than it does out here. There's just not much out here right now to block the wind. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty flat. And once it starts blowing, there's not much to stop it. But, um, but yeah, I imagine, you know, I think it's supposed to blow seven, seven, ten miles an hour on Tuesday. And, you know, the great thing about Texas, is if you don't like the weather, wait about five minutes, it'll change. And so, you know, who knows what we'll get on Tuesday. Uh, we, we just got to be prepared to, you know, do our job and play well. How are you guys doing health-wise right now? Is Lasko, I didn't see him practicing. Yeah, he's, he's not moving around great. He'll probably play some special teams stuff a little bit. He's... You know, probably not going to play a whole lot of running back. He's still not full speed, but um, you know, we're hoping to, to get him on and, uh, and play some teams, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, it was a, it was a collarbone with the parent, right? With, uh, um, oh, Austin Aaron. Austin Aaron. Yeah, yeah, I broke his collarbone. Yeah, I had surgery on it and and uh, got it fixed. And so he's with us on the trip. Uh, you know, just getting started on his rehab, and we expect him to be back for spring football. Okay. Uh, any, any, anyone else? Drew's back. And yeah, yeah. Demario was a little sick yesterday, uh, but he's practiced today. Feels better. He's going to be fine for the game, uh, but he's back healthy. Um, he, like I said, he had a little bit of a uh, fever yesterday. It's kind of a, a low-grade fever today, not as bad as yesterday. Um, but you know, the good thing is we, we've had an opportunity to heal up. You know, Trevor Davis looks healthy. Kenny looks healthy. Um, Trying to think who else has been a little bit banged up. Uh, Steph looks good. He's moving around good. Um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Farley, Other than the linebacker. Yeah, Farley. Farley looks good. You know, right. He's feeling better. So just as a as a group, I think we're we're health, the healthiest we've been in a while. Um, how uh, how do you feel about just 
few days out, how do you feel about how ready they are for this triple option? Well, I mean, you know. They've had some time to look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we've had some time to look at it. I mean, but there'll be adjusting going on during the game. I mean, it's right. just going to be happening at a different speed. And, and uh, you know, one thing that Air Force and really all the teams that are really good at running this stuff, they, they are good at staying one step ahead of you. You know, they're always, you know, as you're adjusting to something they're doing, they're moving on to something else. And so, you know, we've just got to make sure our guys do their job. And we got to stop the fullback. Anytime you play against option football teams, you got to stop the fullback. And that's where it starts for us. And then, you know, we got to get off blocks and, and keep people off our legs. And, um, you know, and then it becomes assignment football, you know, and making sure the guys are, you know, getting the right run fits and, and getting in the proper lanes and, and doing all the things that good defenses do. And then, you know, we got to tackle. Then we have opportunities to tackle. We've got to get, get the guys on the ground. I'm doing something on Patrick Warstall. Uh, he was your special teams MVP this yep, year. Yeah. Well, I don't think the average fan might, might know his name, but what? what yeah, he's been. A, I mean, the, the big thing about Patrick, he's just he's just pat, plays hard. I mean, he yeah. really does. I mean, he's got a he's got a great nose for the football. You know, he's one of those guys that. Um, you know, he just seems to know where the ball is. Um, you know, plays with great determination and enthusiasm. Um, you know, always the first guy down on the kickoff team. He's not the fastest guy. He's just the first one down and is always wreaking havoc and then just does his job. I mean, he loves playing special teams. He understands how important it is. He understands how important his role is to our program. And uh, he takes a lot of pride in it. He's just one of those kids that, um, that gets it, you know. And, um, and, you know, he certainly has been a huge contributor. I mean, he really has been. He, he was saying he might want to be a Navy SEAL someday. Does that surprise you at all? Not at all. Not at all. And he's one of those kids that he's, whatever he decides to do, he's going to do it, you know, 100%. And, um, you know, I could definitely see him doing something like that. I mean, he's an unselfish guy and somebody who seems to kind of have a higher calling. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, to me, he's, you know, the SEALs would be lucky to have him. He'd certainly be lucky to be a SEAL. What does it say about him that he turned down a almost a full ride scholarship for lacrosse to walk on here. Yeah, I just, you know, he loves football. You know, he's, he was an incredibly productive high school player. Um, you know, our guys all the time put his tape on in high school. And, you know, and he'll, I think he'll develop into a, an important receiver for us next year. You know, he's, he'll be a guy that has some experience and, and um, you know, has gotten better. And so, you know, as we lose some of the older guys in the program, he'll have an opportunity to get more playing time as a wide out next year. And, and certainly his role on special teams will continue to grow. And uh, Aaron Cochran, how how happy have you been just with what Brandon's been able to do one on one with him? Yeah, the the him? biggest yeah the biggest thing for him has just been getting confident, you know. And I think I think once once he got confident, he liked football, and once he liked football, he became better, and once he became better, he became more confident, and then it just was kind of a cycle and just kept growing and growing and going, and and so as a result, you know, he's a guy that. We've always been waiting for the light to come on, you know, because he's big and he's athletic, and and uh, he still has a, you know, he's still about halfway to his ceiling, you know, when he starts really playing tough and playing physical, you know, that he'll continue to take the next step. But right now, he's, you know, he's, you know, doing a great job, a little bit ahead of schedule. Coach Jones really did a great job developing him. I think those two, um, you know, have a good rapport, and I think it's made him better. And. You know, I think he enjoys bringing his coaching style, and I think his coaching style brings out the best in Aaron. So it's been a good, it's been a good thing. Cool, guys. All right, appreciate it. All right, man. So Thank you.